Welcome to a video from the DigitalLifestyle.com. We have a new Windows 10 build to look at. This is build 17704. The Windows inside is on the fast ring. And the first thing you'll notice about this build, if you've been watching the previous build, is there's no tabs for any of the application. So in other words, sets is no more. So you can't do tabbed browsing in, in File Explorer. The tab option is gone. Microsoft say that they removed it while they're working on the feedback from Windows Insiders. I'm not sure we'll see it make an appearance back for uh, the uh, Redstone 5 release later this year. So what's new in this build? Well here you can see that Edge has a beta tag on it now to show that it is in, in beta and there's a few changes to Microsoft Edge actually. We've got a, a new side menu here and the settings are now tabbed as well. So uh, to make things a bit easier to see rather than one big long list and um, also the tabs as well there's a bit of more 3d added to the tabs a bit of depth so that uh, you can see the new tabs you see we've also got this option here to show things in the toolbar as well so you've got these customized options and i mentioned on the previous build that there was a uh, a setting the, the, for auto playing tabs, um, auto playing media. There it is. It's uh, I'll, you've got the option of allow a limit or block now. So they've introduced that limit will uh, auto play only on mute videos that are, are muted. Block will prevent them playing at all. And allow will just work how it does now. Another change with this build is a bit of a new look for Skype, um, the UDP version of Skype. Um, it's got in sort of a new look and feel to it. You can take snapshots. You can uh, share, easily share the screen. It's got a bit of a new layout. It supports themes. Some new designs in like this in uh, in the application, uh, in some of the application settings as well. So um, there's more to come from this apparently. So uh, this is just the start of it, and it does look better than the than the old version. There's some other things like uh, data viewing, so you can view some of the telemetry data that gets sent back. I'm going to skip that but one of the two other things like uh, video playback so if I go to settings and apps and look for video playback so on here on video playback you can adjust the auto brightness on them so if your device has got um, an ambient light detector it can automatically um, adjust the video lightness and do some auto processing with it as well some other bits and pieces there uh, you can install fonts if you're a non-admin um, so you don't need admin rights to install the fonts there are some text improvements let's show you so you've got some text box improvements so there's antivirus or uh, UI improvements to Windows Defender showing the health of the screen task managers got a couple of extra options on there if I expand that out you can see their power usage and power usage trends so you can see what's zapping all the power of your device. Um, if you wonder where it's going, there's some ease of access improvements. The snipping tool, which I regularly use, has slightly changed because they want you to use the screen sketch now. So you've got this message, although they do say it's not going away just yet, screen sketch, um, the snipping tool. So um, that's a warning message, but it's not going to dis disappear just yet. One other thing for Windows Mixed Reality users, which I can't show you on this build because this machine doesn't have Windows Mixed Reality on it, is if you're in an immersive game or app and you press the Windows key on your controller, it now pops up a quick launch menu which allows you to go back or it allows you to um, view the time, launch the tools like taking photos or go to the Windows back to the cliff house. Previously, it just dumped you back to the cliff house. A good thing with this new option is if you accidentally catch it, you can just go back and carry on. You don't get taken out of the app and back to the cliff house. Then you've got to reload the app or whatever. So that's a, a good option. So those are the highlights, the main changes with this build. It's a shame to see sets going away. I do like sets. I'm not sure when they'll be back. Um, in the known issues list, they just say or the in the general changes they just say it will be back at some point so we may see that again in the future there's quite a lot of um fixes and other fixes as well uh, minor fixes the known issues are fairly minor there's uh, there is one for windows mixed realities is um it may get stuck 
when you wake it up um, from sleep mode and you have to restart Windows Mixed Reality. So that's one of the known issues. So those are the main changes that uh, I wanted to show you today. This uh, there's a bug bash on now, so they're testing these these bug these builds um, for, with Windows Insiders. I still expect this is on track for maybe a September release, something like that. Thanks for watching this video. You can see more on the digitallifestyle.com on our YouTube channel and on Twitter at Dixon.